have a hula hoop contest. Here's a question I want to pose for you. Let's suppose you wanted to make a hula hoop like this, and you know a place that sold this tubing, right? So you can make it, but you need to know the length of the tubing. So how would you determine how much tubing to get if you had this thing? You can use anything you want. What would you do? Pie. Pie? How would you use pie? You're on the right track. You, you think about that. We'll get somebody else. How, how, would, you, how would you measure this? So all you got to do is be able to take the length to the store so you can buy the right... So what, what would you do in the blue ship? Yeah. Yeah, what would you do? You, right there in the blue ship. You do what? You measure it around? Yeah. You could get a tape measure. You could lay this thing down on the floor or something. You could make, put, run a tape measure around here, or you could put a piece of string around it, right? Cut the string and take the string to the store, right? That's a good way to do it. What's this distance called around here? What would you say up there? Yeah, you. The pie man. Oh, you figured it out how to use pie? Well, let's hold that thought, because we're going to come back to that in a minute. Okay, so you could measure the distance around the circumference. Now, what's this distance, what's that thing called across there? What would you say? Not the radius, you're close. Yeah. The width? The width? He could call it the width of the circle. Look, they probably did that. And if you did, if you talked about the width of the circle, everyone would know what you were saying, but there's a technical term for that. What would you say? Diameter, right? So you could measure the diameter. I mean double it. Okay, now how many people would double the diameter to get the distance around it? Put your hand up if you double the diameter. Because a lot of people think you would double the diameter. How about how about the pie man up there? Would you double the diameter? No. No. Okay, you wouldn't do it. He knows. He knows the formula, right? Well, you more or less would multiply by three, right? You triple the distance across, right? And that gives you the distance around the circle. Only it's not exactly three, it's three point. What'd you do, memorize? We had pi, we had pi day here about a month ago. Did you, did you memorize pi? Where's the pi expert? Right there? How many digits did you memorize? A hundred? Well, you could get a very accurate you could get a very accurate length of your circle with 100 digits. But normally, you know, you know, the kind of the sad thing about math is that people memorize things and they don't understand what's happening. The first thing you want to learn about the circle is that the distance around the circle is about three times the distance across, right? About three times. Now you know something you can use. It happened to be 3.1, but you probably won't use the point one very often. Or three, three point one four. But you'd be surprised how many people, adults that have been to college, they remember pi, but they don't remember what they use it for. The distance around a circle is about three times the distance across it, right? If he was just the diameter, he could just go to the store and say, I want a piece of tube in this this three times as my height. That's me. Right? So you don't always have to measure things. Okay, thanks. Okay, so, well, we need that information to do this next one. How many, uh, any tennis players here? I'm, I'm like tennis. What's it, what's it cost for a can of tennis balls nowadays? Maybe like six, seven dollars. Six or seven dollars, is that right? Uh, no, like three ninety. Well, that's quite a bit of money. Like three ninety. You know, I've got uh, it's something I developed a low-budget tennis players. I need an assistant now. Somebody I haven't had yet. Yep. What's your name? Okay, Emma. Emma's going to help me now. Here's a question I have. If I put a string around this can, completely around the can so it just fits and then took the string off. I got the string right here. How far up the can would the string go? What do you think? Size of the tennis ball. 
What's that? Size of the tennis ball. How far up would it go? Two one thirds? Third. One, third. one third. Only go up one third of the way? Anyone go for a half? What do you think? I'd say uh, if it just barely fits, then it couldn't go far. It couldn't go far if it just it's barely fits? Emma is going to make sure that it just barely fits. Yes. Anybody think it goes more than halfway up? I think it three, three, three fourths? fourths? Anybody think it goes up three fourths? I think it goes up one Anybody think it goes up seven eighths? Seven eighths is bigger than three fourths, right? Yes. Seven eighths is almost all the way, right? Yes. Nobody thinks it goes all the way? Okay. Why don't you hold that? Now I've got a piece of string here. It doesn't stretch. We'll put that around. Okay, now. Is that just better? It's about right, isn't it? Wait a minute, I've got something better. Here's my wire. Okay. Here's a piece of wire. Now that goes around here. Just this, right? That just this, right? That camera is not. Fibbing you. Now we're going to straighten this wire out here. down there, and that wire goes above the can, right? Yes. Goes above the can. So, circles are very deceiving. Like people wanted to double the distance across the circle, we should triple it. Now, there's something we did, thank you. There's something we did that would act, could actually give you the, uh, the answer here. Does anyone see uh, three diameters sitting on top of each other there? Yes. Three diameters, right? And three diameters is the distance around the circle, right? Well, that's what we did. We the distance around here. So when you see something like this, you've got to think about tripling this distance right here. Triple this distance to get the height, OK? You can do this with uh, any kind of a glass. If you're at a table, you have drinking glasses, Pose this problem to someone. If I put a string around this glass, how far up the glass would it go? We just look at the bottom of that glass and you think in your mind, one, two, three. So that's what you got to do. Okay? Here are some follow up activities. In this video, we placed a string, a wire, around a tennis can to obtain the circumference of the can. And we showed this circumference was taller than the can. But the diameter of a tennis ball is a little bit smaller than the diameter of the can. So we should place the string around a tennis ball and not the tennis can. So let's look at a more accurate demonstration. Here we have three tennis balls. This piece of string just fits around a tennis ball. That is, this length of string equals the circumference of a tennis ball. Next we compare this length of string to three tennis ball diameters and see that the circumference, the length of this string, the circumference of a tennis ball is a little more than three diameters. There is another demonstration that avoids using string to find the circumference of a tennis ball. We place a mark on one of the tennis balls, and then on the opposite side we place another mark. This is called the upper mark, and we have the lower mark. And we place the lower mark at the end of the tennis ball can, and carefully roll the tennis ball along the can. It's gone halfway. That's the lower mark. 
until the upper mark is straight up and the lower mark has reached the end of the tennis can. The tennis ball has now made one complete revolution and this shows the circumference of the tennis ball is equal to the length of the tennis ball can. And the tennis ball can shows that three diameters are less than the length of the can. So the circumference of a circle is greater than three times the diameter. It is interesting that a can of tennis balls provides a visual illustration that the circumference of a circle is a little more than three times the diameter of the circle.